as you can see, Phil has burnt the top part of my lid to the point where it doesn't even look human anymore. This, this lid is, is destroyed. Absolutely destroyed. The hot cocoa lid. The hot cocoa has burned to the crisp. The lid's got to come off. You can't leave it on. I don't understand why you... I said 30 seconds. It was. Bullshit. This is at least 40. At you, least. You didn't invent it. That's the problem. Episode 4. Lighten up. Johnny, Johnny and Phil. Phil. Very special... Uh, very special. Cigar here today. today, let me tell you. Very, very special. special. I'll tell you, one of Phil's, uh, this was Phil's pride and joy three years ago. This was probably the first purchase that put me into the elite establishment. I will say this, it's no cheap purchase because you ain't going to find a box cheaper than 500 I would think. Yeah. $500 is... A little bit more, but they are more expensive, but for an H. Upman... Yeah, you're probably not. These this box of twenty five was four hundred. Uh, sorry, box of uh, box of ten four. No, it wasn't. I thought it wasn't twenty five. I thought it was twenty five. Uh, no, yeah, it was twenty five. It was uh, five eighty five for the box. Five eighty five for the box. Limited edition. Twenty fifteen. Twenty fifteen. H. Chapman Magnum. 56. Magnum 56. It's got some age on it, folks. Four years. And I'll tell you. Smells stupendous. I gotta admit. I, I'm, I'm a little giddy to have this. A cigar that I think we've forgotten about. Yeah. Yeah, we, this. Well, the foot. We put away and forgot about. That's a good foot. It is. I'll tell you, I'm, I'm, I'm a little excited here. I gotta, I gotta be honest. This is a cigar that's forgotten about. So, as... You've seen so far, Johnny has stuck with the usual hot chocolate in his usual cup. Well, I think I, I think Starbucks and me have come to an end, an abrupt end. Except this time, the well, top the, has melted. It's destroyed. In the microwave, uh, wasn't vented when I was heating it up. And Nothing to do with venting. It's, 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 a, it's a lack of, it's just a lack of responsibility from, from my partner. Just a lack. I will accept that lack of responsibility. Destroyed it. Absolutely destroyed it. So here we go. Here, huh? This is a this cigar we've forgotten about. This is a big one. This is one of the few cigars. Double Robusto. 56 ring gauge. I have yet to finish this cigar. This is a big boy here. Yet to this, this is, is a big, big boy, boy, folks. Right. This is a big boy. Quick, uh, if I'm not mistaken, now I, I ended up buying half of these from Phil because he he didn't care for it after a while. That they weren't aged. This has a lot of age to it right now. But I believe you only gave one person this cigar. Correct. Besides you. Besides me. Besides you. That's quick, correct. Quick shout out to to Red Rum. <laughs> quick shout out to the rum. Who I believe is the only one to have one of these. Yeah. The Red Rum. Fantasy Draft Night. Two years ago, I believe. Yeah, Football Fantasy Draft Night. Came, he uh, brought his pizza over. Pizza. You had salad that night. I had salad. Never you, forget it. You two had pizza. Draft Night. He's eating salad. I was. I was eating salad. Was, uh, if I'm correct, my Labor Day weekend. Getting some nut early. This is big. This big ring gauge. Big yeah, ring gauge, yeah. yeah. This is not for the weak at heart. No. Not for the weak, not for the faint. This, Johnny believes, is the left side of the wheel. If, well, it's... If I had to put it, it's, 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 it's down a, below? It's nut. It's south. It's all nut. It's south. And nut and fruit. More than likely, this is where you'll be. You'll be in the nut. Again. Some fruit. Fruit to flower. That's where we are. Fruit to flower. But this right here, all not. This it's slight, uh, you know, slight plum. Maybe slight plum. This might venture onto the right side a little bit for all we know after four years, I, five years. I hope not. But, you know, I'm willing to take the journey. I'm getting an unsalted peanut right now. Unsalted cashew. I, I got a walnut. 
I got a walnut. All right, we're in the same, we're in the same ballpark. I got a walnut. Unsalted. We basically bought a bag of peanuts. Assorted. An assorted bag. Assorted Correct. bag. Correct. It's whatever the hand pulled out. My hand, I happen to grab mostly cashew. Unsalted, though. Unsalted. Non-roasted. Non-roasted. The hits in this thing, colossal. <laughs> colossal hits. <laughs> colossal <laughs> hits in this cigar. Yes. This cigar is massive. Could be the biggest ring gauge I ever smoked. Yeah, biggest one. Actually, that's a lie, folks. Red Rum is the second person. The first person I enjoyed this with was my cousin, Bill the Wrench. I brought it to his house one night. We couldn't even finish it. I, I never finished one. I've already, I've already had three, I believe. This is all there. It's all nut. Heavy. Big. And it's good nut. It's a good nut. It's good nut. I, I, you know, I could go for a little, you know, lightly salted. It's a good nut. I almost wish it was lightly salted. You know what I mean? It's a good nut. It is. You see, that snow is melting here. Yeah, big big snowstorm uh, yesterday, folks. We got a total of, I think, two inches. Wow. But the rain, but the ice, the ice made it. It was very dangerous. The rain made it heavy, made the roads bad. Very dangerous. Yeah. Yeah. Thank God we have some really, some really fine city workers in this, in this part of town. Johnny was out for ten hours plowing salt in the streets. Just dropping salt. No pepper in sight. Just dropping the soul. <laughs> just dropping the soul. <laughs> cleaning street. That's what I do. I clean these streets. And then you, I believe you had a cigar in your trunk last night. Don't want to discuss what I had because I'll never have it again. <laughs> and that is it. And last time, folks, he was waxing poetic about it on well, episode three. It again, it's poetic. it's one of the non-Cubans I go to when if I'm alone, if I'm. You know, once something quit, the San Latano over Maduro, who who I did wax poetic about, who bid it his farewell to me last night. That's it. What it was it? all char. Char? Harsh. Harsh? Very harsh. So it was a bit premature then, maybe. No, nah, I, I had it in my, in my box for months. Ah, uh, so then, so then we Sometimes the they're better right out, of the, right out of the store. So then, so then we got to blame the box. I blame the brands. It's ah. it's it's the soil. It's it's not Cuban. I, again, I'm anti. It's Phil will tell you. I'm, I, I hate it. It is. It's I like, hate to, I hate to sound so vulgar. I hate it. It's like a biased. The same thing when it comes to sports. Diehard Met fan. But but, but I'm very open to. It. I'll admit if another team is good, obviously, is, there's plenty is. of. But he's biased to love his players. Biased right. man loves Jose Reyes. Well, I loved it with a D, you know, past tense. Yeah. Loved Jose Reyes. Me, personally, never thought he was anything special. Couldn't say anything bad about him in front of Johnny. Oh, uh, I wouldn't tolerate it. Wouldn't? I wouldn't tolerate it. I'm getting an immense amount of walnut. It's all nut. It is. Box of walnuts. Anyway, it's all nut. Box of walnuts. Uh, if we refer. Very, very minor tone of coffee. Very slight. I, I, I tell you, I haven't... Uh, I, I, let me see. Let me, let, me, let me see what's going on. Very slight. Very slight. It's almost like uh, the nuts dipped in the coffee. It's got a little coating on it. Not enough, really, to, to do it. It's very slight. But it's... I mean, it's it's nut. I mean, it is a nutty... Mm. There's the pepper, folks. Yeah, I, see, I was hoping... I was hoping Phil wouldn't say that. There's the pepper. There's the pepper. But though, Upman is known to start to turn to the sweet side. It is known... I predict... That Coco will make an appearance in this cigar. It's got it's got the age. It's got enough age to it. 
The age is, is coming. The age is coming. It's got four years. We're going to let these sit another four when we now, have the next one. Phil will tell you my superstitions. I always leave the wrapper on. Phil leaves the wrapper off. But if there's two wrappers on the cigar, I will take off the bottom. Take off the bottom wrapper? I will take off the bottom wrapper. Leave the top. Leave the top on? I don't need the bottom. You don't need the bottom. I don't need it. You I just need to see the brand of the cigar. I just need to see... Yes. Yes. That's what I need. You need to see the brand of the cigar. That's what I need to see. I want to look at what I'm smoking. And another reason why I do it, to rub it in people's faces, when I go to these lounges and they're smoking all non-Cubans. So I, I like to show them, yeah, I don't, I don't have that. <laughs> I don't have that. I have, I have uh, you yeah, know, I got something good here. I got something good. You enjoy your fucking full gaze. You enjoy that full gaze. I'm Phil loves coffee. I could have today. He is a non-Cuban apologist, though. <laughs> a non-Cuban, and he, lo- he listen. He loves the Cuban. Make no mistake about it. He is a non-Cuban <laughs> apologist. <laughs> the big fan of the Davidoffs, as you know from our last review. Big fan of the. Well, Davidoffs. we're gonna uh, we're gonna make Phil happy, and, and more than likely do that that Churchill at Winston. Maybe tomorrow. We got the delivery coming tomorrow. Big bread delivery coming. Get the sweet loaf. Oh, well, we, and we will we will review that loaf as well. <laughs> we, seeds on the loaf. Oh, I told him don't show up here with no seeds. <laughs> this is a gigantic cigar. Yeah, colossal hits, as you said. When you take a, a hit of it. You almost feel like someone's swinging it at you and hitting you in the head with it. Yeah, this is a Tyson jab every time you you puff on it. Yeah. Yeah. This is. Not the biggest cigar ring gauge? Gotta be. Yeah. I think it it makes for the flavor to be a lot more subtle because the walnut is subtle. The pepper is subtle. Well, usually the smaller cigars, right, is the... uh... Yeah, they're, they're more powerful. Bigger one, I tell you, it's getting, getting some slight, slight notes of uh, tobacco still in here. Not something I want to hear. Not something you want to hear, I know that. There's some slight notes of tobacco in here. See if, again, if, if, you, if you give me what, what I need to have in my cigar, I'm happy with cocoa. That's why I love the Monte. Good age, Monty. But this is something different. So, see, see, I'm stepping out of my comfort zone with this. I'm stepping out of where I feel comfortable. This is this is mixed nuts right now. Mixed nuts. I feel, I feel like I'm at Trader Joe's right now. Well, yes, walnut, cab, like, I feel like I'm in Whole Foods. I hear the bell ringing. Looking at the nut association. Let me, can I ask you a quick question? Not to get off topic. Why do they ring the bell at Trader? I don't, I, I don't know if anyone's familiar with Trader Joe's. I don't know about the bell at Trader Joe's. Why do they ring that bell every 10 minutes? We have the cash register. Yeah, it, it, guy, it's a guy who rings the bell. So, well, I, I don't know if you shop in Home Goods. They do that too. You go to Home Goods? But why, why, why? why I, don't know, I don't know what it signifies. They did it around Christmas time. I don't no, know this is. Like. Every, every time I'm in Trader Joe's, it, I feel like I'm on a farm and it's fucking dinner time. Did you ever ask? You know what? I will. I will. I will. Next time I will ask. When that, as a matter of fact, when that bell is rung, I will walk, I will walk right up to him. You got to ask. What is the significance? I got to know. What is the significance? I got to know. But smoking this cigar, I feel like I'm in the aisle with the, with the nuts. With the Brazilian nuts, the, uh, the all types of nuts. That's actually a good one, a Brazilian nut. I didn't think about that, but... This is a Brazilian nut because a Brazilian nut is a bit bland. Healthy for you, the Brazilian nut. It is. This is a Brazilian nut. It's, it's, it's a bland nut. It's a bland nut. Unfortunately, there, there, there's no salt. There's no roast to it. There's just It's a bland nut. You, 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 you keep eating them, hoping that something's going to change. I'll tell you, this is starting to open up now. This is starting to open up. Where's it going? This is first third was just subtlety of Brazil, Brazil nuts, 
Brits. <laughs> Brits. <laughs> he, he made his own pronunciation for that, for that word. Brazil nuts. Brazil nuts. <laughs> Brazil. I'm from I'm from Rio Brazil. <laughs> Rio de Janeiro would be the the city, but it's Brazil nuts. Dab of coffee. It's the dab. Just the dab. <laughs> Pepper. No caramel. No caramel. The tobacco, thank God, is left for me. Almost thought I ate some marshmallow just now. I don't see how that would, that would fit in with the nut. No, that that would be new for an A. Chapman flavor. Well, A. Chapman's known for the nut, yeah, if I'm not yeah. mistaken. Yeah. But this had some age to it. This is This is going on four years with this. It's usually, though, it usually gets a little cookie, though, at some point, the A. Chupman. The Connoisseur A, A. Chupman is my favorite thus far. That is like a box of roasted, salted peanuts. That's just putting your face in Planner's factory. You went jumping into a vault full of nuts. You stuck your head underwater, and you didn't come up for air. Well, from, from what Phil tells me... Smoking that cigar was like making love to the plantier nut guy. It was. It was. It was. Never had a cigar that I was able to taste a flavor as much as that one. Strongest taste I've had is the A. Chapman Connoisseur A. This is, getting, this is getting good now. This is getting very, very, very nutty. And not in a crazy way. Just very nutty. This is. It's all nut. Oh no! I'm a, I'm a, I am a massive Brazil nut. Brazil nut, <laughs> and it's just uh, I'm chewing away. See at now it. I'm getting some warm up. Now the warm up. Now I'm getting a little warm. I'm out of I'm out of, out of all the nuts. The warm nut would be towards the bottom for me. I put pistachios on the bottom. A pistachio may be right in front of it for me. I like pecans. Pecans are a good nut. You know what I miss? I miss going to the ball game and and, and breaking the the uh, the you know the nuts with the shells. Yeah. Shea Stadium. We used to, where my father used to sit with, with my you know, my buddy Eddie. Shell. Shells, like mountains on, on the floor in front of the seats, like mountains. I'm actually getting a little bit of that kind of nut right now. A little bit of a... a ro- what is it? Roasted peanut? Oh, it's a, just a peanut in the shell, I would call it. Peanut in the shell. Peanut in the shell. The shell is so underrated. It is. It is. And, and it's messy. That's why I think people don't like they it. They just throw it out. They just get rid of it. They don't even look at it. You almost need a plastic bag with you to put the, the, the shell in. It's like sunflower seeds. What did you do with the shells? Eventually you got aggravated. To this it. day... You just eat them. I have no idea how to eat a sunflower seed. I don't know what to spit out. And what this and, and what the swallow? <laughs> the kernel inside is what you swallow. How do you, how, do you, how can you tell? Oh, you crack it on the side of your. I know mouth. people that that just shove a whole fucking. I did bushel. that. I did that too. What I used to do as a kid is I put the nut. I'd stand it sideways on my tooth. I'd crack it, just like. So a, you're eating one at a time. One at a time. And eventually you get frustrated. So that's when you. You eat your sunflower one seeds one at a time. One at a time. It explains a lot. <laughs> It explains a lot from the way he acts sometimes. You know, very rare I trust someone that eats their sunflower seeds one at a time. And I'm the guy. Very strange. Eat the sunflower seeds one at a time. That is very strange. You eat them multiple? I don't eat them. I don't know how to eat them. But finding that out now, I'm a little uncomfortable sitting here. I gotta be honest with you. I'm a bit perplexed that you eat your, that you sit there with the patients and eat your sunflower. When do you have enough? When do you stop? Usually about a quarter of the way through, and then I save the bag for later. I, I, I don't even know how many are in a bag. Uh, I never looked at the count. It's always usually by weight, too. I don't think it goes by count. It's like a brazzle nut in a shell. Brazzle nut, folks. Brazzle nut in the shell. That's it. That's that's exactly what this is. This is a brazzle nut in the shell. I 
It's not a bad cigar. It's not like this cigar to some people might be like the greatest thing they've ever had. Because it's, it's first of all, it's a, you, you, you can't get it anymore, I, I don't believe. Or maybe you can. I know it's a limited edition. It's not, it's, not a, it's not a strong cigar for its size. That's the thing about it. Very mild. This might make a lot of people's... See, this, this wouldn't make my top five, top seven favorite cigars. Because it doesn't have that cocoa it's aspect to it. It's not in the top it. ten. It's no, it's no strong flavor. Everything is subtlety. This is the mark of a true cigar smoker who just wants cigar. It's like a gigantic Rottweiler that everyone's afraid of, but when you go pet it, it's the sweetest little thing. Yeah. It just licks you, it doesn't bite. This is the Rottweiler. This is the Rottweiler. This is it. This is the Rottweiler cigar. Just wants to be petted. Just a slight pet. You should try eating your sunflower seeds one at a time. I never, I'm just not a sunflower guy. I'm not. I like making the mess with the shells. That's the type of guy I am. I, li I like I like really getting into it with those with those roasted shells. That explains a lot. Well, that explains a lot. That's more common than eating your sunflower seeds one at a time. It does, but now it explains why you leave the sink wet. Well, that's just. But again, I have the right to do that because I, you know, I clean up after others. I have a right to make that mess. Now it's time for someone to clean up after me. <laughs> Is that what it is? Interesting way to see it. Last 15 years, going on, excuse me, 16 years, going on 16 and a half, 17 years, I've been cleaning up after people. That's right. Think about it. That's right. Johnny it's started off as a custodian. Custodian. Custo uh, custodial engineer. <laughs> custodial engineer. And now, it's, it's, you know, it's the same gimmick. It is. They're just dumping it in when bigger it. bigger barrels. <laughs> I went from a waste basket to the to a trash can. To the older brother. <laughs> to a trash can. Somehow I can't stay away from the garbage. It's my time now. Now it's my time. It's my time to make that mess. I tell you, this is just this is just one nut. Hasn't gotten away from it. It's like the donkey. It's mixed nuts. It's like a donkey. The donkey starts off on its journey and nothing stops it. It keeps going. Energize a bunny. I, I really thought I was going to get some cocoa in this. No, no cocoa to be had in sight. The cocoa train never oh, I came missed, on the track. I might have missed the, spot, the, the stop. It never came on the track. It never came on the track. One word to describe this? I mean, nut. Nut? Nut. Pick your kind. Brazil, uh, mm. Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. I, I wouldn't call it an almond. I wouldn't call it a cashew. But if I said that, I wouldn't be wrong because it's not. It is, but the, the, the pick your flavor. The Fonseca was more almondy than this. Fonseca was way more almondy. Just a gigantic cigar. I mean, it's a gigantic nut. That's the only way to put it. It's like standing in front of a six foot nut and you just got to chew it at it and eat it away little by little. This is the six foot nut. This is Bigfoot. The Bigfoot nut. This is the Bigfoot. This is it. This is the Bigfoot nut. This is Harry from Harry and the Hendersons. It's Harry from Harry and the Hendersons. Just a nut instead of an eight. A show I miss. I enjoyed, I enjoyed. I enjoyed Harry's presence. I gotta be honest. You enjoyed I, Harry's. I liked Harry. He was a good guy, Harry. Yeah, he's a Harry good guy. Anderson. He's a good guy, yeah, Harry. So then you're a fan of the Planet of the Apes movies. I can do it. It got too much. I'm not a sequel guy. I don't like sequels. Make the movie once and move on to a different topic. I don't need to see how many were there. Eleven. I don't need to see it. No. Well, well, well they remade more. Out of the new ones. You had the the rise of the planet. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm at the dawn. I, I the was dawn I was I was done with it. War. Good stories. I tolerated Franco and in, in, in the, the one of the newer ones, and I had enough. I had a Caesar. I had enough. Let him go in the woods. Let him stay there with his family. I'm tired of him coming out. Let him stay in. 
I don't just hibernate. I had enough. I had enough. Again, not a sequel guy. I don't like sequels. If a movie's good enough, it doesn't need a sequel. Amazing how this has just been one straight nut. This has not deviated to a different flavor whatsoever. All nut. And halfway through this, it's all nut. All nut. All nut. Well, folks, there you have it. We have one giant nut here. I doubt that you'll be able to get your hands on this. No, they don't. It's limited edition. Limited edition. Limited. 2015 at that. 2015. Now, if there's one cigar from 2015 that I'd like to get my hands on. Oh, we know what that is. Oh, the Christmas cake. Yeah. Oh, I, I, I don't even want to say it because you can't buy it anymore. It's another limited edition. I only have two left and that's in my aging box. I, I believe one. you have one. One. I could imagine how good that cigar is right now. I guess, then don't want to touch it. Again, that cigar, a cigar sometimes you forget about. That's my top four, without a doubt. Top three for me. Oh, it's, it is a phenomenal it cigar. Is. It is. Oh, you might as well just, you might as well tell them the... Ramon Alonis. Limited edition. Limited edition. Is it 2015? I think it's 2015. I believe it is 2015. Just a brilliant oh. tasting cigar. Oh, man. That, you fall in love. If you like chocolate, you'll fall in love. I mean, you. that is just... Smooth. Oh, you. man. Beginning to finish. Not once does it drown out. Not once does it disappoint. No. Every single draw. That's the type of cigar that they see. This, this, this is good. I, I, I highly recommend trying this if you can, because my taste buds. I'm very, again, very. You know, Phil says I'm picky. I, I am picky. Certain things I'm picky with. But this is the, not my thing. It's a good cigar. It's not a. It's a good cigar. Just not my cigar. It's a beautiful thing. Just not my thing. It's, it's what it is. This is the cigar that I'll have, but I'll forget about this now for another four years. Well, you don't hate the cigar. No. But I'll look to see in four so years. So you're more nutty than me. You're yeah. more of a nut guy. It is. But this, this isn't that... It's good. It's good. It's a good cigar. The, it doesn't have the nut punch. And you don't taste was... cigar, though. You don't really taste cigar that much. You don't taste cigar. No. But you, the nut is so subtle... It doesn't have that punch that the key Well, it's unsalted. Yeah, it's, it's an unsalted it nut. It's what, it's what it is. Unsalted, non roasted. Just a dry nut. Dry nut. Non roasted. It's like a it's like a towel in the cabinet. It's there, it's ready for you. Any marzipan. No marzipan to be had. Not a bit of fruit. No plum. No plum. Second no, the Actually, speaking of fruit, I just got a little orange in here. Oh, there it is. A little orange. There it is. A little orange. A little zest? Uh, minus the zest. Hold the zest. A little orange. Hold the zest. Hold the zest. Hold the zest. Hold the you find the citrus in the Juan Lopez. Another cigar we have to get our hands on. The number two. The, the number one, one is good, too. The one and the two. The number one is good too. I, I hate it on the one at first. The one is good. The two is phenomenal. I, and that is, and I, you do get slight cocoa in that, but that is the one cigar that I can think of off the top of my head that's non cocoa that I love. That's Orange that one. just bursted out of here for me. What? Orange just bursted out. It's it's like it's like I just started licking orange peels. I'm licking orange peels. A little zest. A little bit. A little zest. A little bit. A little zest. It's trying to come out towards the end. It's trying to come out towards the end. The orange zest is, is it's, it's... Now that you said that, I, I'm feeling a little Tropicani. It's, it's fighting its way. I think I would have to point more towards Minute Maid. I, see, I'm, I'm not a fan of Minute Maid. Not a fan. Love Minute Maid. Oh, not a fan. Love Minute Maid. I mean, you put them toe to toe. Minute Maid doesn't stand a chance against Tropicana. Uh, you could you could take a survey on that. <laughs> I mean, you could take a survey on that. 
<laughs> Tropicana is the orange juice. Minute Maid is nothing but a little brother. <laughs> no, Minute Maid was good in its day. I'm not saying it wasn't. It's no Tropicana. Is, is it not? Is this Five Alive? I, I, I the, the, see once once sunflower seed at a time prefers Minute Maid over Tropicana. That's what I'm dealing with. Yes. That's what it is. Good Gagara. I tell you, I'm enjoying the cigar. I gotta be honest. Orange zest, a little bit of nut. All nut though. All nut. All but nut. now, now you're starting to, you start to see a little Tropicana seeping through. Minute made for Phil. Minute made for me. Tropicana for John. Sunny Delight, nowhere near my refrigerator. No, no, nowhere near. Way too sweet. It's like eating Domino's pizza. Yeah. Compared to a regular Italian pizzeria. Yeah. Can't. Can't have it. Can't have it. Won't have it. Domino's Pizza Hut. And I'll tell you why. It's not yeah. real. Yeah. It's not real. It's an imitation. Yeah. Is Pizza Hut even around anymore? I don't even think so. I will tell you this. I'm a pizza connoisseur. My father as well. The yeah. only non-Italian pizzeria food or pizza my father would eat, believe it or not, is Pizza Hut. Really? He, 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 he's, a, he's somewhat of a fan. But I don't even think that they're around Central anymore. Avenue. Yeah, they're still there. Five minutes from uh, from our headquarters. Pizza Hut's still around, huh? Same shopping center it's always been. Different side. The Hut, the Hut's still there. Still there. The Hut is still there. Still there. This is all Minute Maid right now, would not. I'm anti Minute Maid. Glass orange juice with nuts. We agree on. I that. agree on that. But I tell you this. See, see, we're we're disagreeing on the the type of peanut. And the type of orange juice, but it's still, it's all there. Still not in there. And, and I'll tell you, I'm enjoying this a lot more than I was seven minutes ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot more. Oh, it's getting windy. A lot more. It's getting windy. Well, but, folks. Uh, hey, let me just say this. Is that the snow that, that's continuing to come down? Do you hear be. that? Yeah. It could be. Are we in any type of danger, uh, here? I think that we're safe. I hope so. So in, in summarizing, nut with orange zest at the end. H. Upman, Magnum 56, limited edition, 2015. If you could buy it, if you can find it, try it out. You might love it. You will spend some coin. I, without a doubt, you will. Phil opened up his purse. He was, he was not, he, Phil opened up that purse. It costs a pretty penny. So don't be shy to spend. Yeah, don't be shy. This is an expensive one. So here we are. Episode 4. Light and Johnny and Phil. Signing out.